Hello and welcome to today's little lesson. What we're going to do is talk about the importance of finger picking, but for the fretting hand. One thing you always want to make sure of when you play guitar is that your fretting hand isn't squeezing the life out of the neck of the guitar. You're not like He-Man trying to break it and snap off the neck and turn it into a, a some sort of weapon or an axe or something or a spear. Okay, be relaxed. Okay, we should treat the guitar like it's somebody we love. You know, we're not trying to strangle it. And one way that people get this really badly wrong is that they squeeze too hard with a thumb. Okay, so when you play, take a simple chord that you already know. I mean, for a lot of people, we could just basically choose a G chord, okay? Or a C chord. And just test where your thumb is at, okay? For starters, is it in the right position? A lot of people have the thumb up there, which I don't like because it restricts the fingers. The higher the thumb is, the more rocked back your fingers become and then it can kill off the strings. Now that can be made worse if you've got shorter fingers. Okay, if you've got longer fingers, you can kind of get away with certain things. But if you've got shorter fingers, like, you know, my fingers aren't particularly long, I like to keep my thumb around the back a bit lower down. That allows me to get on the tips. And then what you want to do, play a chord, take your thumb off. Okay, see if you can actually take the thumb off the back of the neck and still play the chord because that just highlights you know that's what I'm doing right now my thumb is in the air as you can see that just highlights that you don't really need the thumb that much but you do need the thumb of course because if you don't put the thumb on everything just becomes awkward but the thumb is just a bit of a stabilizer it's there just to add a little bit of pressure tiny bit of pressure but mostly it's there just to give your fingers something to push against okay and let your sort of the weight of your arm get into the chord, okay? So you can like kind of relax your arm, get in position, and your thumb and your fingers create this like little grip. And then you can feel the weight of your fingers and your arm going into the chord. So you're not actually like pushing so much, or you're not squeezing, you're not up here. Everything's relaxed, okay? So that's what you want to do, okay? Um, so try that every now and then, and then just try reducing the pressure with the thumb, being aware of that. Because I always talk about the fingers, you need minimum pressure. I call it minimum pressure required, where you don't press too hard with the fingers, okay? So you only press as hard as you need to for the notes to sound clear. But it's the same with the thumb. You only need to press as hard as you need to with the thumb, just to make the notes sound clear. And then, you know, you can try this little exercise, which is from page 31 of my Fingerstyle 101 book, which is exactly where I talk about this. Nice little pretty piece. And it highlights the fact that your thumb might just get rigid. So what you'd want to do there is play that little piece which is based around a C chord and an F chord. And at what, F add nine technically. Fancy sounding chord, yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh, but what you'd want to do is just really just get super relaxed with that thumb. Focus on what you play, do one bar at a time, break the bar into smaller chunks if you need to, and then just focus on the thumb and the fingers and just your general technique. So it's a really good idea, it's a short little piece, it's a really good idea to take a short little piece like that and focus on it with good technique so that, you know, if you do like a 15, 16, 17, 18 bar long piece, it's really difficult to focus on technique because you'd be like, okay, I've got to remember this part, this part, this part. But this piece, break it up. It's still four bars long with an extra bar at the end, like a tail bar at the end, okay? But it's four bars mostly. And then you still want to break that up and you can break it up into this. So basically play a C chord as in the normal way and then pluck the A string, G string, B string, IE string. So string five, three, two, one. And then you just pluck string, A string, G string, high E string. So seven plucks in the bar. Okay, so basically you could just do that, focus on the thumb, bringing the pressure on and off. And then you repeat that. So string five, three, two, one. String five, three, one. Okay, the rhythm sounds weird there, so play it with a smooth rhythm. Then we switch to the F add nine, which is basically an F chord, so ring finger is fourth, uh, third fret of the D string, middle finger second fret of the G string, 
index stays where it is, first fret of the B string. But you add your pinky on the third fret of the high E string. And then you plug the D, G, B, high E. So D, G, B, high E for the first four plugs. And then D, G, high E. So you skip that B string again. So for the F add 9 chord, it was basically... Um, should say you take the pinky off as well on the last pluck okay so let's just do that f bar again to recap so you've got d string g string b string high e string and then d string g string and take the pinky off and high e string so again seven plucks there but this you don't really need to know exactly what i'm plucking here because you could just pluck any pattern with any chords i chose the c and the f add nine because they are slightly challenging but also because they sound pretty and so it's inspiring for you to play um but also so you can break it all down into little chunks as well okay i'll talk about it in the book anyway but like so take a c chord take a pattern like that Focus on the thumb, that it's not pressing too hard, that it's not sneaking up there. Then, you know, you could try it on the F add 9 chord. Which adds a little bit of melody. And if you want, you can get Fingerstar 101, you know, from the uh, link, fingerstar101.com forward slash book. Okay, it's a great book, comes with loads of really cool bonuses. I'm really proud of it. But the main thing I want you to take away from this lesson is that you want to be aware of the thumb always. It's so important. Whatever you play, just take it steady. Relax that thumb, okay? Don't feel like that muscle there should be tense because it shouldn't. You know, I call it the chicken drumstick, jokingly, okay? Because it's like when you get like, go to KFC or something. This isn't an endorsement for KFC, by the way. Although I do love their gravy that they do. It's really good. Um, I don't know if everybody else in the world knows it, but like that gravy they do is amazing. But anyway, if you get like a chicken drumstick from KFC, it kind of reminds me of that muscle, but you want to relax that muscle. I do waffle on, I think it's lunchtime soon, that's why I'm hungry. Um, that's why I'm waffling on, really, okay? So, relax that muscle. It shouldn't, don't, don't let it get tense, it's so important not to, okay? And it will only, only get tense if you press it too hard, okay? When it's in the wrong position. So think about those two things. Anyway, there's a little bit of finger pick for you there to enjoy. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. I hope you have loads of fun. And remember, good technique is imperative. Technique is everything. It's one of the most important parts of guitar playing. There are five elements to guitar playing I talk about, which are called the five Gs. That's technique, your repertoire of songs, your musicality, your motivation, and your ability to plan and you know prepare exactly what you do. Technique is probably the most important. It's probably the most neglected by most people. So focus on it every single day and improve it if you do that you'll have more fun you'll be a better player and you'll enjoy every single moment okay and that's the idea all right thanks for watching and um i'm running out of breath now right hope you enjoyed that leave a comment below and i'll see you soon cheers bye bye